In the previous section, we looked at creating track layouts that allow us to create a collection of, in this example, effects returns for our primary lead vocals. I'm going to take those layouts we created and then use them and control them, leveraging with something called expand faders that gets us tactile control on the faders to control, creatively to control our plugins. So let's take a look at this. So let's access our layout that we created previously for our effects returns. And to do that, I'm going to come up to the left spill zone. And this time, we're actually going to go and bring up our, using our, our quick jump functions, shift backslash. It's going to give me my first six track and meter layouts. And I can just press effects Fox B. It's a handy way to have those right here, uh, right by you. And I can now see all the signal processing that are on those particular uh, lead vocals. I can see the repeater delay, the Valhalla plate. On the right side of the desk, you know, back to our VCAs. It's a great, uh, great way to look at uh, our primary lead vocal on our bridge. We'll just hit solo that up for a second. And we've got various sends that are pushing into, um, there's a Valhalla plate verb that we want to take a look at. And let's actually just press back in our effects returns, our primary lead vocal effects. I'm just going to push on the encoder uh, that is in insert mode. And it's going to bring up the Valhalla plate plugin. Now, I've got access to some parameters. Here's our mix percentage, our pre-delay, our decay time. Uh, I just have a small number. If I want more, I can, as we saw previously, go into expand mode. And that's going to pull everything out onto the knob module and kind of borrow that knob module. Now, we want to look at one step further. And that is actually being able to create a map of, hey, here are the most important parameters I want to automatically come up anytime that I use a Valhalla plate in my session or in my template. And this can be really beneficial. So to do this, all we need to do is basically go and hold down the attention key on the track with the, the particular plugin that you want to access. And uh, we're going to press expand. And what this is going to do is it's going to drop the faders down. And it's kind of waiting for us now to do a touch. And so I'm going to choose the parameters from the knob module that I want to bring down to the faders. So what do I care about? Well, uh, decay time is important. I'm going to grab decay time. Uh, Pre-delay is important. Uh, I'm going to grab the size. Uh, I'd like to have kind of the wet dry control. I like to have it on the far right so I can just touch mix and touch that over here. And let's grab the type as well and then maybe the width as well. Okay? So those are kind of the essential things I want for this plugin. Now, if you want to take it one step further, the little uh, switched LED at the bottom, if I press that, it's a whole nother page. So if you have extra stuff like, let's say, modulation, that's a good example, or even some of the, the EQ, the, the, uh, the color, the tonal color of the reverb, I can just drop those down. And those are on the second page. So it's actually uh, a quite good to, get to access that as well. I'm going to hit expand. And now that map is stored. Now I have access to that. So if we play, we've got that vocal soloed up. It's just, we've got a lot of reverb here. Here's our decay time. There's a pre-delay. There's our size. We can play with the wet dry. I can listen. I can make changes to the algorithm, to type of reverb. And then I have, again, everything in context, right? The send on that particular channel into the reverb and then all the reverb controls. Now, let's actually just pop out of that view. And I want to show you a preference I think is really important. Under the user settings, there's something called auto expand faders. And what this does for you is it, it saves a step such that if you're in a channel based view for a processor, I can literally just press expand. It's going to bring up the parameters on the knobs and automatically bring up the mapped faders if you've already got a map. It's a very cool uh, time savings function. So, if we go right next to that, there's a repeater on that track. I'm going to bring up the repeater. So we take a look at that. We're sending there as well. And I'm going to hit expand, and boom. Now I'm actually, I've got control over my delays. I've got quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenths. I've got my output volume, my mix, my feedback. I've got all that for the delay as well, right? And that is stored. Now, an important uh, topic, which we looked at previously with layouts, is this idea if we go to system, the expand faders right here can be saved with the session, with the Pro Tools session, as long as I choose to tick that and save it with the auto load. Okay? So let's go back real quick to the tracks page. I'm going to go into attention, and we're going to just grab one other track here real quick that I want to show you an example of, and that is this gang noise track. 
and I've got some various noise reduction tools on this. I just kind of wanted to show you a couple other quick, quick examples of leveraging expand faders. And to do this, I'm simply going to go, uh, the first plugin I have on here is a, a McDSP noise filter, and I'm just going to hit expand, and boom, now I've got control over my individual thresholds. Awesome, got that going. Um, I can pop out, let's go look at um, some noise reduction from waves, right, my WNS. I can control all the individual bands right here on faders. Got that, boom. And then I've also got a multi-band compressor from FabFilter, and I can play with the individual levels and the individual ranges within those levels, right? And again, I can have multiple pages depending on where I want. The thresholds and the gains and the makeup and all those different parameters, I can customize this, save it in my template, and I've got exceptional control over all of my creative sound design plugins, effects returns for reverbs, delays, and even non-traditional things like Dopplers uh, and, and creative tools that I can instantly get control of in a predictable way because I created the maps, it's part of my template, I can bring it back, and it's a very creative and efficient way to not only get sounds, but to do dynamic automation um, in Pro Tools. So expand faders, super powerful, save with your session, uh, and a very, very creative tool.